Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, I'm excited to do a quick review of Intelligentsia, the Black Cat Classic. This is, uh, I've been playing around with this for a little while, probably maybe you've seen some shots of it maybe, but um, we're gonna do a, a quick review on this one. The other thing I wanted to mention too is we just gave away Stumptown Coffee and like I've mentioned uh, plenty of times before, we're giving a, a coffee away or some type of giveaway every month this year. So maybe, depending on my review at the end, maybe I'll give this one away. So uh, go ahead and give it a quick watch, go through it, and um, if you're lucky, we'll give it away and leave a comment to enter. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it all going. I'm gonna tar everything in, make the shot. I will say, um, I did notice on here there is a roast date. This one was roasted on 9.30. So it's a little, it's getting close to the point where I, I wouldn't wanna review it anymore, but this is, this, it looks like it's still pretty good, so. We're gonna shoot for 17 and a half grams. All right, yeah, probably a couple more beans there. 17 and a half, perfect. And then we're gonna do something like 35 to 36 out. <clears throat> cool. All right. People ask me this all the time. Right now I have this set to a nine um, on the Barista Express, but realize that what I have might be different for you because my burrs have been used a lot. I've actually manually adjusted the burrs. So if you like go in here, you can kind of crank it whatever way you want. So realize that your number might be different than my number. Also, how old the coffee is makes a massive difference. If you just got this and it's only a week old, it's probably a lot more dense. So you're gonna have to um, bring it to a finer grind level. <clears throat> Anyways, so, let me, uh, this is a little wet from heating up. Nice clean porta filter. All right, so I'm gonna weigh this in here. 17 and a half, so we're good to go. All right, uh, let's tamp out, see how we do. As always, do a little distribute, tamp. Let's pull that shot. Okay. So we're gonna shoot for somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds for about 35 grams. So let me uh, get my handy dandy stopwatch out. And we got that first trip. This is pulling magnificently. I love when it looks like this. It's nice, thin streamlines. It's kind of pulling different sh di different ways, but that's mostly because the group head on this isn't exactly the best group head ever. All right, and we nail oop, nailed it. We were right at uh, about 22 seconds, it looked like, and I'm right at 36 grams. So, I'm going to clean this little area off here. All right. Give it a quick stir as always. So these beans are kind of medium. Let me get some in my hand, show you what they look like. Give me like medium light. I mean, again, it's all saying whether something is medium or light is rough because there's no real determination on what that is. But anyways, it um, I, I really like the, the color of those beans. It smells really nice. The smell on them, on the beans themselves, are kind of um, mm, very nutty. Almost like peanut butter. It has like a peanutty flavor on the nose. Some chocolate. Yeah, I can't get the I can't get peanut butter out of my head. Anyways, let's give it a test. Cheers.
Ooh, this is nice. This is very good. Um, some of that peanut flavor actually does come through in this shot. It's not a lot, it's a lot less. Zella, by the way, is telling you to subscribe if you haven't heard her screaming in the background. But um, yeah, a little bit of that peanut, but it actually has a very nice, delicate citrus note at the end. Um, yeah, something like a, like a cherry, probably, tart cherry. Yeah, this is this is really really good. I like it a lot. When coffee makes you smile. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to feel out a little bit. It does have uh, a couple of notes of maybe like um, some some dark chocolate um, right at the end. Nothing nothing super intense though on that. It's very, it's very even. I, I, I like all the flavors. You can distinctly take each note out, which is, uh, for me, a really nice sign of a good coffee. So, Intelligentsia is winning. I'm gonna give this away. Uh, I already know, right off the bat, after tasting this, um, I'm gonna give it away. So, if you wanna enter to get, get into the giveaway, go ahead and leave a comment below. Make sure you're a subscriber, and you will be entered to win. So, um, yeah, let me get a couple of smells off this too. Describe a little bit of that. Oh, it smells sweet. Almost, it has kind of a sweet, like, brownie, peanutty flavor off of it, off the nose. I, I like this a lot. I wish I would have bought more of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, man. The only reason I'm probably, uh, I, uh, I, you know, it, they don't have fair trade. They don't, they're not organic or anything like that. So that doesn't necessarily affect my flavor score, but I'm going to say that the green score on this is uh, a four they do do direct trading so they go like direct to the uh, grower um but they don't they don't have any of those other stamps of approval so um yeah we're gonna give it a four on that but as far as the flavor man i, I want to it's not let's go 9.2 it's very very good so i'm i'm super excited to give this away um i hope you liked the review to again, take a moment, hit the comment, go to the comment sections, leave a comment to get entered to win. And don't forget to subscribe because if you're not subscribed, you're not entered to win. So thanks for watching and have a great day.